And we're back. That back, was a weird. Back. I don't know what that was. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Please. My name is Colin. Please, please stop. What? Go talk you don't to like Pate. polyphonics? Go, go talk to Pate. Why do I want to talk to Pate? He's a. Pate, he's, he's, he, he smells Pate. weird. He smells like lavender, but like synthetic lavender, and they haven't invented that in this universe yet, so I'm creeped out by him, all right? All right, all right, that's cool. But There's also anyway, dead bodies there, but... Okay. Anyway. Be careful. Oh. In, uh... It'll have... First Dark Souls, like... I... Well. I don't know, it was interesting, because you were still, like, in the mythology phase of that world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were still, like, part of... You you were like right there to kill all of the things that were responsible for creating the world. That yeah, was your job. Like, in this, you're kind of just you're now like part of a cycle that was created in the first game. Mm -hmm. And there's tons of people who have done it before you, and tons of people who are going to do it after you. So, Woo. you know, see that that mad kiting skill? No. But, you know, it just, it just doesn't feel as... I don't know. I guess epic, even though that word's really overused. Yeah, well, I mean, but if you're dealing with, like, creation yeah. myth, that is kind of a pretty appropriate yeah, use no. of the word. It is kind of frustrating how that word, is like, isn't really... Oh, wait, no, you gotta go back first. Why? Because you haven't met the dude. What dude? I... Oh, the map dude? No, yeah. But, 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 no, I want to... Gotta, you gotta do this now. You gotta, you gotta do this. You don't even have to stop at the bonfire. It's, like, in this area. Fine. And I missed it until, like, the end of the game. So. Oh, I'd already, I'd already talked to him in another game. I love that. I love it when it reloads the ragdolls, so it kind of mm -hmm. creeps you out a bit. You're like, whoa, what's that? Oh, it's they, they just had to do that again. Got it. Whoa, I forgot I didn't kill you. You didn't kill him. This call it sounds like a job for two-handing my shield. Which, by the way, causes bleed damage. Huh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I got staggered. Uh, I just wish oh. they'd add blunt force trauma damage. That would be so over that. Really, they should add psychological damage so you can insult <laughs> someone. Totally. I feel like that would make the game more realistic. Now you're going the wrong way. No, I'm, well, I'm doing this intentionally, sort of. Sort of. Well, actually, no, I guess I haven't ever approached this from anywhere other than... Do you think I can make that? Yeah, that's how I did it. No, you did it wrong. Did I, though? Yeah, you did. I don't think you can get there now. Well, I'm... whatever. I can... Uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> whatever, I'll just collect everything in this area. You're almost out of Eustace Flask. Eustace, by Whatever his name is. <laughs> I think we already had a discussion about that. Uh, probably. Demon Souls, was, this game, like, the world see, almost feels more like the Demon Souls one. Yeah, a little bit. Because Demon I Souls like... was, like, almost more of, like, a typical fantasy thing. Yeah. Where it was just, like, a normal medieval world, and then some guy messed with something he shouldn't have. Mm-hmm. Although, with Demon Souls, one thing that was cool was that, um... I, I like that there was, like, a lot of self con Like, just like Dark Souls, there's a lot of self-contained stories that are their own little yeah. rise and fall and arc that you get to find out. Um, kind of like the whole story behind the Tower of Latria is really cool. So it's sort of... It still has that same instance of, like, you know, you, you're interacting with history in the sense that, um, like, you get the old monk that you fight in the Tower of Latria is, um, like, the dude that... Oh, shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Oh okay. no. No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. I got this. Oh gosh. Uh. Let's see. You're gonna get we'll shot. Just... Nah. Where did I put. This I need to put stuff in the weapon box. <laughs> I have never put anything in the item box. There we go. There we go. Hey, nothing? Ever? No. I've never sold or put anything in the. In the... Oh, good lord, that's that's horrible. <laughs> I've just got everything I've ever picked up with me. At all that times. Is, oh my god, that is that is a terrible idea. I'm just terrible. reveling in the lack of item burden. You, oh, you son of a... Real nice. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not cool. Yeah. Uh, you're not cool. For not making that jump. Whatever. <laughs> Here we go. What are you doing? Speaking in tongues. Which ones? The good ones. Okay. Yeah, I, I think the big one, the biggest thing with this one is it's kind of just retreading. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Miyazaki wasn't involved with this, or wasn't the director for this one, so yeah. I think it had something to do with it. I think it had a lot to do with it. And again, it's a good game. It's just not as interesting mm -hmm. in terms of the world. Yeah, although it still contains plenty of references to Berserk. Yeah, probably more. Well, because have you seen, um... What is it, like the Black Crypt Sword? Uh... It's like yes. a massive... It's like probably one of the most ridiculous great swords, next to like the old, the, the King's one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it looks it, it looks a lot like the uh, Dragon Slayer from uh, Berserk. Yeah, the, uh, people were saying that the turtle armor looks like, what's his name? The Zuso. That's it. And that's my armor of choice. Because you are Bazuso? Exactly. Uh, I think, yeah, I was thinking we should do some PvP a little bit. Because I was about to go use a soul vessel and get my strength up to 90 to dual wield the giant, great, <laughs> the giant club. Sure. <laughs> I thought that might be funny. Yeah, that's... that's God damn, why would you... <sighs> that's just so much overkill, I can't even... Well, I've got three soul vessels, so... That is true, yeah. I have one of those kicking around. I might yeah. use it eventually, but... And I was gonna... Cause, and then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna put my strength at 50 instead. Mmm. Because I think those 10 points I put up to use that to begin with could be used better elsewhere. Yeah, although it is fun to sort of experiment. It is, but... And I, I might I get it up to 75, because then you can do wield almost every strength weapon, except for the mm -hmm. giant warrior club. I, I still want to make my um, perfectly even-statted, mundane... Yeah, I'm curious ladle. how that'll work out. Probably not great. I tried out the ladle. It is really bad. It is incredibly bad. It is... <laughs> Very deservedly the worst weapon in the game. Although, considering that they try to make whips, vi whips viable this time, I'm, oh. I, I'm assuming that means that um, next in Project Beast, ladles will be a perfectly acceptable <laughs> uh, attack. It's weird how there are weapons that are really hard to get that just don't do anything. Well, the pickaxe isn't terrible, at least. It's pretty it's, terrible. It's, well... If you don't invest the points into it, like, its scaling actually goes from a C up to yeah, an A. But, um, do you know the thing with it? What, how to get it? No. It's, like, special thing. No. Unless you hit something directly with the tip of the pickaxe, its durability goes down really fast. Which hmm. means if you miss, it breaks incredibly fast. That's weird. Which well, makes it... Well, it means it's for skilled players. Yeah, well... Which I am not, clearly, because this guy is giving me way too much trouble. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But no, the, I don't think the, pitch, the pickaxe is a viable weapon for... See, now now I can't do the, the R1 mash because it's being difficult. Before, I did it by accident. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Which is also weird because the pickaxe was supposed to be... I remember the first Dark Souls, a lot of people said that was their favorite strength weapon. Yeah, I mean, it's been popular since uh, Demon Souls, actually. Yeah, I used it in that a little bit. It's, like, it's been pretty pretty nice for that. Yeah, um... Oh, okay, so here's the thing. I don't think you jump as far if you... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Jumping can be weird when you're locked on. Um, yeah, it can be. Although that time didn't really... Yeah. Didn't really... You know what? Actually, before you do anything else... I have an appointment with an asshole. Hold on. <laughs> so satisfying. It's, and it's always the same message. It's always, Revenge! Hurrah for revenge! Oh, there's the ghost of someone who got revenge. Die, you piece of <laughs> Revenge. Yep, revenge. Yep, there you go. Double revenge. revenge. Yeah. That one's got more ratings, so I'm going to rate that one, because I'm not All a right. hipster. 
<laughs> That's how anti-hipster I am. Look how mainstream. Look how mainstream. Whee. Oh, you're like the hipster of hipsters. No! You can't bend that back around <laughs> on me. <laughs> That's not how that works. On the next episode, uh... You probably wouldn't have heard of it. <laughs> it doesn't exist yet, so definitely not. Yes. We'll see you.